Hello and welcome to Brainy Gardener. Today it is all about how to grow and care for the panda plant. Panda plant, botanical name Kalanchoa is native to Madagascar. It is a succulent plant with thick, fleshy leaves that store water. The leaves are covered in soft, hairy bristles that give them a fuzzy appearance, hence the common name. The stems are covered in the same hair as the leaves, and they're barely visible underneath. Bell-shaped tubular flowers appear from early spring to summer, but they are sporadic. In nature, these little beauties can reach heights of several feet, but when you're growing them indoors under controlled conditions, their height will only range from one or two feet. Different varieties exhibit different colored leaves, but most are brown, almost burnt hair on the tips of the leaves, making for an extremely attractive appearance. To add visual interest and texture to your home or garden, the panda plant is a great choice. Panda plants prefer bright, indirect sunlight, but can tolerate some direct sun. If the leaves start having less hair than usual, that is an indication that they are not getting enough light. Move them to a brighter spot. They are frost hardy and can be safely grown outdoors. You can grow them outside in colder regions as well, but only during the summer months when conditions are warm and dry. If you live in a cooler climate, it is best to grow them as houseplants where you can control the temperature and humidity. Panda plants are drought tolerant and do not like to be overwatered. Allow the soil to dry out completely between watering. If you are growing them outdoors in the summer, they may need to be watered more frequently as the heat and sun will cause the soil to dry out more quickly. These plants prefer warm conditions and will not tolerate frost. The optimal temperature is between 60 to 7 to 5 degrees Fahrenheit. In case there is a chance of frost in your area and you are growing them outdoors, make sure to bring them indoors or provide some other form of protection. If you are growing them as houseplants, they should be fine as long as the temperature in your home does not dip below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Panda plants prefer low humidity levels and will not tolerate humid conditions well. If you experience humid conditions, you may notice the leaves start to shed their hair. This indicates that the plant is stressed and you should take steps to improve the air circulation or provide a drier environment for the plant. This plant does not require a lot of fertilizer. A light feeding in the spring is all that is needed. Use a balanced fertilizer diluted to half strength. Over-fertilizing can cause burns on the leaves. Panda plants can be propagated by leaf cuttings or stem cuttings. Cuttings can be taken at any time of year, but they have the best chance of taking root if planted in spring. To propagate by leaf cuttings, take a clean, sharp knife and remove a leaf from the plant. Give the wound time to callus over for a few days and then plant it in a well-drained cactus mix. Water lightly and keep the soil barely moist. New plants will sprout from the leaf in about four to six weeks. To propagate by stem cuttings, make a cut just above a node. Just like the leaf cutting, allow the cutting to callus over for a few days and then plant it in a well-drained cactus mix. Water lightly and keep the soil moist but not wet. New roots will sprout in four to six weeks. The panda plant is a slow grower and doesn't need frequent repotting. They take a long time to outgrow their original pots. They are best suited for potting in a cactus mix or a well-drained succulent soil. They need to be repotted every two to three years, or when the roots start to outgrow the pot. When repotting, pick a pot that is only one size larger than the current pot. Panda plants are mildly toxic to pets and children if ingested. If you suspect a pet has eaten one, it is best to contact a veterinarian. These plants are susceptible to mealybugs. These soft-bodied insects are attracted to panda plants as they can easily camouflage. It is recommended to inspect your plants regularly to detect these bugs as soon as they appear. If plants are small and you can spot mealybugs, the most effective way to get rid of them is to remove them manually. For bigger plants, you can use pesticides or clean the affected leaves using alcohol applied to a cotton ball to kill the mealybugs.